Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be diving into is Evernote in 2018. I want to share some of my speculation about where I think Evernote is heading towards. I did this pretty much every year these days uh, and I like to try and share my stuff. Even though whether it's wrong or right, I've been really badly wrong. I'll include some really badly predictions in the video about Evernote and other resources like that. Um, and naturally, I wanted to share a few ideas of where I think it's heading in 2018. Anyway, guys, just before we get started, make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification to get regular videos and get notified when those videos are up. It's just a quick notification that comes up on your phone, so it'd be great to have that. And also, make sure to join a Skillshare class if you have not. It'd be amazing to have you in the community, uh, so make sure to join that one. You get two months free of Skillshare Premium in the description below, so make sure to check that one out. So guys, just before we get started, I just want to let you know that I am an Evernote community leader, so I do get some slight insight into what Evernote are coming up with next, naturally through our webinars and routines, but what I will not be doing is, discloses, is disclosing any of that. I'll more be talking about the next 12 months in terms of the big things that I think Evernote are going to be doing. So none of the stuff that I am talking about is concrete, it is all speculation. Very similar to what like I do with the to-do to -do list videos, the to-do list videos, uh, and also the Wunderlist videos. So so please do take it as opinion, uh, don't get cross with me if then this comes right, uh, but I just like to share. So my first thing is a redesign. Uh, in 2018, I think that Evernote are going to naturally focus their attention on a all platform redesign. Uh, iOS recently changed uh, to Evernote 8 on iOS and obviously uh, things have been slightly tweaked in the other resources but I can imagine in the sort of I'd say Q1, Q2 of next year Evernote will do a full rebrand, Evernote 10 probably, they might even skip 9 um, and they will do a Mac rebrand, a Windows rebrand, iOS and Android and it will all look very similar. This is something that OneNote did in uh, I think it was last or the start of this year uh, and it actually was a very successful tactic at bringing together all of their ideas and making sure that all of the platforms looked all the same across the board. So I think Evernote will be doing something like that uh, in the first half of the year. So number two is a task manager. Now I've talked about a task manager inside of Evernote uh, a little bit um, and I've shown you the video that I did I mentioned it about two years ago now, uh, but I think Evernote will be putting more idea into their context. So for example, let's say you have a list or a checklist um, and you actually want to start making it actionable because obviously a checklist inside of Evernote is very static. You take the stuff off and pretty much nothing happens because you, well, you're ticking stuff off for a project, which is amazing. I love the checklist function inside of Evernote, but it's not contextual. It doesn't necessarily bring up due dates. It doesn't necessarily bring up uh, information about time taken, energy, duration, start dates, etc. Things that it can be useful like a task manager is in a way. And I think in 2018, Evernote is going to put their attention towards making uh, a contextual checklist so that you have the ability to see all of your tasks inside of Evernote. Now, obviously that makes it a direct competitor with most of the note-taking resources, but I think that uh, it will play in a different way. I think it will be more project-based in the sense that they will help you connect up your notes with your tasks, but in a softer way. I don't think it will be a direct uh, aggressive contender to the other to do with applications, but I think that they will be focusing on it. Number three is templates. Obviously in 2017, they sort of focused a bit of their attention on the template side of stuff. Obviously sharing some brilliant templates that you can use from everything from week reviews all the way to 2018 calendars and even social events and things like that. And using it as a tool to plan and obviously copying them into your own personal Evernote. Now I do think that Evernote in 2018 are going to put this into a feature so that for example, like you do in Google Docs or in a sense Microsoft Word, you grab the templates that you like and you add them to your Evernote account uh, and you can search them inside of a note. I think that would be an amazing feature have, to have. Obviously being able to access all of that great stuff that also opens up to the ability uh, to have a sort of library or store where people can create their own setups. Uh, you know, for example, you can have like a journaling one, you could have like a, a book creating one, uh, and it's a way for people to user submit their ideas. So I think templates, big 2018 thing, and I can always, that's like my thing that I'm gonna 
put up there. I think definitely that's going to be the thing. And then I also think that Evernote are going to try and bring people into sticking to the note taking experience. I think one of the issues when using Evernote, I think a lot of people like to use Evernote as a note taking resource, but one of the problems with note taking is that it's sort of like a disjointed process. Like for example, let's say you're doing some research for maybe like the company you're working at, like marketing, and you're like, I need to search what all these numbers mean or conversion things. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna type all the notes up into Evernote and I'm gonna research on the internet. Well, I think AI is going to be a big part of the researching process in the next couple of years. So for example, when you're searching inside a note and you need to get the information on that note, obviously you've got context cards at the bottom, which is handy, but again, they're very general. Uh, sorry, when you're taping note, taking notes, you're gonna type in like, at Evernote or something like that, like you do in Allo with at Google and up, up pops up some recommended resources and they will be available inside of that window so that you don't have to leave the Evernote note. Uh, so that will, I think, will be available on Windows and Mac. That's my sort of opinion, only because they're more like desktop things. You don't tend to research too much on iPhone. I mean, I, mean, I don't, um, but I think there'll be things that would be very useful. So what comes up is at a Google Evernote and you basically find uh, stuff through Google or a researching tool and you don't have to leave Evernote. You can import images, you can import multimedia, you can even import other stuff like uh, data, tables, research. I think that will be the future and I think AI will play a vast role in that. Anyway guys, those were the four things that I think you will find out about Evernote in 2018. Again, this is all speculation, like this is just me going a bit crazy in my head uh, over the uh, time period and obviously I've spent a lot of time with Evernote, I've uh, been using it like five, six years now and uh, it's been an amazing resource for me. So I just wanted to give you some speculation, uh, I hope the Evernote team aren't crossing me for this one, uh, I do like to think about ideas and bring them up. Anyway guys, uh, let me know in the comments what you think Evernote is going to be doing in 2018. It'd be great to hear how you think of them, how you're working with them, how, like, just share all the stuff you love about Evernote, uh, or even uh, that you think could be developed, uh, because that's very useful to have in 2018. Anyway guys, uh, just a quick mention of that Skillshare course, make sure to join it because it's free pretty much. And if you don't have access, I'll make sure you have access. So in the comments, again, if you want access to the Skillshare class, I'll organize it if you are not a Skillshare user. Uh, but do join the two months free premium anyway, it's brilliant. Anyway guys, I wanna thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.